from Wisconsin, and thank you for your interest in our article and in the area of technology in the role of family therapy. My name is Dr. Marky e. Blummer, and I'm at the University of Wisconsin Stout in the Human Development and Family Studies Department and Marriage and Family Therapy Program. I had the honor of being the first author on our article entitled, How Many Bites Does It Take? A Content Analysis of Couple and Family Therapy Journals. Um, I had a chance to write this article with my co-authors, Dr. Kat Hurtline and Mr. Justin Smith and Mr. Harrison Allen. Um, basically, to summarize our article, what we found was that of the 17 top journals in the field of family therapy, uh, there were approximately 13,274 articles that were published between the years of 1996 and 2010. And our area of interest in this content analysis was looking at, of those articles, how many paid attention to technology, the internet, cyber issues, uh, and new media. And we basically became interested in this project, Dr. Hurtline and I, uh, for two reasons. One, uh, I had a very strong interest in the research methodology of content analyses because I had, ha had an opportunity to conduct another content analysis with other co-authors. And Dr. Hurtline was interested because she had done um, a large amount of research in the area of cyber technologies in the role of couples and families prior to this article. So we got together and said, let's merge these two areas together. Let's look at content uh, analyses of our field in our journals around cyber issues. Uh, there was an added bonus to this because I really enjoy mentoring um, students and we had an opportunity to have two of our students work on this project with us and, and that was Justin Smith and Harrison Allen. Um, what did we find? Well, we really weren't surprised per se to find that during that uh, 15 year period, 1996 to 2010, that only 79 of those 13,274 articles uh, focused on cyber issues in relation to our field. Um, we also weren't necessarily surprised that the majority of those 79 um, articles were focused on clinical work uh, in, in relation to technology. And, and that amount was approximately 35%. The area that received the least amount of attention was cyber addiction, and that was only 2% of those 79 articles. So again, we weren't really surprised by uh, the areas that received a lot of attention. We also weren't incredibly surprised by how little attention the area of technology had gotten in general. Um, however, when you put it in context to the growth and explosion of technology over the last 15 to 20 years when the internet really became publicly available, which was around 1996, when you think about how much explosion and um, how much it's crept into everybody's lives, then it's kind of surprising to see that it hasn't received more attention in the literature. Um, some of the implications are uh, that we found from our content analysis were that really repeated authors said multiple times there needs to be more scholarly attention and research paid to the role of technology in the lives of individuals, couples, and families. The other big clinical implication uh, was that clinicians really need to develop greater awareness around the role of technology and the part it's playing in their clinical practice, their supervision, their training, and in the lives of their clients. To help attend to some of these gaps, um, Dr. Hurtline and, and I actually uh, co-authored a book which recently came out, which is called The Couple and Family Technology Framework, Intimate Relationships in a Digital Age. Finally, uh, some of the more intense clinical implications were that clinicians in general need to be more well-informed, more up-to-date on the information with regard to cyber technologies um, and clinical practice. Uh, the other part for clinicians is that most of the authors encouraged them to actually uh, use technologies in clinical practice in very mindful and purposeful ways um, that are also ethical. Uh, so including technology as a resource um, and a supportive tool in working with couples and families was recommended. 
Um, in general, thank you so much for your interest in our article, and thank you to JMFT for the opportunity to expand on our research. Um, I really invite clinicians and researchers to do as our content analysis suggested and really give more clinical attention and scholarly voice to the role of technology and how it plays a part in all of our lives. Thank you.